Hey guys, Antrodom here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys the 13W36A snapshot. And this is the first snapshot of the new 1.7 biomes update. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to launch it into it here and try and cover everything as quickly as I can. So, first on the agenda are the new types of biomes. And uh, the one that you guys have probably been looking forward to the most is the Clay Canyon biome. Now, unfortunately, they are spawning a little bit glitched right now, but the way that they are supposed to spawn is they're supposed to be composed of multiple types of colored uh, hardened clay and there's supposed to be dead bushes all around the biome but as of right now it looks like there's only like the top variation of it that's spawning and all the areas where the clay is supposed to be is currently not spawning so that's a little bit of a glitch right now and it very well may have been fixed by the time this video comes out and if so I'll include screenshots in the description below. Next up on the list are the Redwood Forest Biome, and these are coded as Mega Taiga Biomes, and they contain these 2x2 two two spruce trees, and what I mean by that is that the mass of the trunk is 2x2 two two rather than just 1x1. One one. Uh, they'll have a grass block variant known as Podzol, and uh, they can only be obtained by the Silk Touch Enchantment, and uh, they also contain dirt blocks that do not allow grass to grow on them, and the way that that works is that they have a data value of 1, so that if you, it's something you want to implement into your maps or whatever, then and that's a cool little addition as well. And another thing you guys are going to notice throughout this biome as well are the moss stone boulders that are just kind of scattered throughout the biome. There's no real purpose to them or anything, but they are kind of cool. And then there's dead bushes, mushrooms, and ferns that spawn all around the biome as well. So a new technical variation of the Extreme Hills biomes is known as the Cliff Biomes, and the main block that this is comprised of is stone all the way up to the surface, and they're very, very steep, but they're not necessarily vertical hills. And another thing to note as well is that there are a lot of new technical variations of various biomes. This is just one of the main ones, but as well, you can also have the Extreme Hills Plus biomes, which have taiga trees growing on top of them and stuff, and yeah. So moving right along here, the next biome on the list is the Savannah biome, and as you guys can see here, it has the sort of yellowish brownish type color to it, and it has the curved acacia like trees and stuff, and other than that, there isn't really anything too specific about them. Uh, the next one is the roofed forest biome, which has extremely dense trees and leaves, and really can be dark and dangerous when you're under the canopy, even during the day, and this is the first biome since the mushroom biome that naturally spawns huge mushrooms. The next biome on the list is called the Ice Spikes Biome, and as you guys can see here, the biome is full of all of these different packed ice spikes, and uh, the ice that these spikes are made out of is actually a new block called Packed Ice, and uh, there wasn't any cited specific details about what the Packed Ice does, but I took a guess, and I was right, in that it does not melt to heat around it, so I placed torches all over the thing, and I also placed uh, lava all around it, and it did not melt naturally. The last of the new biomes that I'm going to be listing are ones that don't really have anything too specific about them other than what is available on the surface, and that is the Birch Forest Biome, the Flower Forest Biome, the Sunflower Plains Biome, and the Stone Beach Biomes. Again, these biomes pretty much are exactly what you would expect just by looking at them at the surface. So moving on to a bit of a sillier update that has been implemented into the new snapshot, but equally as awesome, is the new world type known as Amplified. So this isn't really the same thing as large biomes. This is really, really tall biomes. So it allows maps to spawn biomes that are absolutely huge, but it's not just tall biomes because as you guys can see with the footage of me flying around here, uh, these maps look awesome so yeah even though this is kind of for fun and it does kind of say it's for testing you know just for the heck of it i kind of hope they keep it in there because what's the harm in it being there it is absolutely awesome so yeah be sure to mess around with it for yourselves because you can get some really messed up things and another thing that i've probably shown in the video or i'm going to show right now is that as you guys can see with the new mesa biomes uh how the hardened clay is not spawning with these you actually can kind of get a better idea of how the clay itself is supposed to spawn whereas previously you just kind of saw like floating you know hills atop you know like a giant mass of air so yeah as you guys can see you probably can get a much better idea of what these biomes are supposed to look like if you just imagine the air blocks that are inside the mountains are actually uh, various different colors of hardened clay. So the last of the new biomes changes that I am going to talk about are the fact that gravel beaches now spawn throughout the world and that oceans now have a variation called deep ocean and when you swim to the bottom of it there will be a giant gravel 
ocean floor awaiting you uh, about halfway down the world. And as well, there have been some changes to oceans which I have been begging for for a very long time, and that is that oceans no longer spawn infinitely. Uh, they can still be pretty large, but there will always be land on the other side of the ocean. You won't have to worry about going for any more than maybe about a thousand blocks before the ocean will eventually wind up turning back into land, so no longer are the days where you would spawn a world and you could only go out about 10,000 blocks before you met infinite ocean. So now the true exploration of Minecraft is back. So that is absolutely awesome. And moving on here, uh, biomes have now been put into four main categories whenever they spawn. So the biomes themselves are, well, the four different categories are snow covered, cold, medium, and then dry slash warm. And the biomes will attempt to avoid placing themselves next to ones that uh, differ too much from themselves. So you're not going to see too many biomes that are dry slash warm uh, spawn next to ones that are snow covered because I've seen some really insane things happen like that before. And it's just kind of weird to look at seeing like a diamond, you know, shaped uh, snow biome spawn with a desert all around it. It was definitely kind of weird. And something else that I noted before that I'm going to note again is that most biomes have uncommon slash rare variations. Uh, as I said, there are non-snowy versions of taiga biomes, and then there's the extreme hills variations that spawn with spruce trees. Uh, spruce trees now generate an extreme hill biome or a variant of them. Uh, the snow may now generate depending on the Y level with noise variation, so basically what that means is that uh, if the hills in a particular biome spawn are really high up, then there may be snow on them because that area is pretty cold. So yeah, and one random little thing to add on top of all of this craziness is that melon blocks now spawn naturally in jungle biomes and water and ice are no longer translucent on fast graphics so they no longer look really, really annoying. So this pretty much concludes part one of my 13W36A snapshot review. In the second part, I'm going to be covering all of the other changes as well, including the technical changes that have been uh, implemented, as well as uh, explaining all of the different blocks that have been implemented into the game as well with this update. So anyways, guys, hope you all have enjoyed the first part of my snapshot review. Uh, my name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.